Hey everybody, welcome to this two minute techie tip. Um, as always, we want to promote student centered learning and focus on the skills of communication, creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking. So today we just want to um, show people um, what the reflector app is all about, what that's going to allow me to do. Um, so I'm just going to start out, so I have a notebook page here, um, and it's just on Isaac Newton. Um, so let's say I am presenting information about Isaac Newton, and I have something on my iPad that I want to show my students, or I'm going to create something on my iPad. Um, to demo a formative or summative assessment um, or students have done something already about the third law of motion and I want them to show um, the class um, students as teachers. So um, my goal here is to show you how the reflector app will um, allow you to let students and um, yourself with an iPad or other devices, uh, Android or Chromebooks, um, project onto your smart board. So um, uh, let's just think this through. So this notebook file is on my computer and I am connected to a smart board. So this notebook file is projected onto my smart board. So I want to project my iPad on the smart board or my students are going to be teaching about the third law of motion and and their work. I want their work projected on the smart board. All right. Um, and I don't want to be using cords, all of that. I want to do this wirelessly. So I need to use, I need to know a little bit about the Reflector app. And when you search for it, it's going to say Reflector 2. That's exactly what you need. Um, it's not going to look like anything is really happening. All right. And, but Reflector is loading and you're going to see, um, something come up here. Oh, I got install update. I'm going to skip that version for right now. Okay, so my reflector app is um, open and I can see it on my dock. You might be able to just see the little icon here. I also get, just like Dropbox or Drive, I get a little guy at the very top where our wireless signal is, where the battery level is, and it says, oh, Reflector sees my MacBook. Um, it That will come up. So now I just want to connect my iPad to my uh, computer really using the reflector app and on my iPad on an iPhone any iOS device I'm gonna swipe up and that brings up your mission control so I am swiping up from the very bottom of the screen and this will happen in just a second I'm gonna be able to mirror that Okay, so when I turn on, and I'm, this display will come up in two seconds, when I turn on my um, AirPlay display, you now see my iPad um, projected on the screen, and this would be projected on um, the smart board. So anything I want to do on my iPad, I can show on my um, smart board. So students can make presentations, students can share information, show their work. Um, it makes um, sharing in the classroom much more powerful and more efficient. And again, um, iOS, iPad, uh, devices work really well, Chromebooks and Android devices. So um, this is something that we can kind of help uh, in the classroom. So the way we did it again, um, we're swiping up on the from the very bottom of your device. And then here you see this is your AirPlay button. So I have the name of my computer is checked and then my mirroring is turned on. So if I turn off my mirroring, you um, lose my image. But here again, I have my, ear, my mirroring turned on. Now what is really cool is that 
I can even do um, more than one device. So now my phone is connected, so you could have multiple students presenting information or their work or teaching the class um, from their seat. All right, so this is done. I'm going to uncheck, un um, mirror my phone so that we just have my iPad and again I can go through what is Letterworks and I can go through that cute program um, and uh, show anything that you see on my iPad can be displayed on my um, smart board wirelessly so I can walk around I can give a student my iPad they can work on it um, you might be able to see the tools here um, from the icon that reflector 2 puts on my very top menu bar if I want to bump this kid off or bump off my iPad I just click this um, but I can also I think I can also add devices pretty quickly um, and I can change for instance no frame so I can I have some um, options here for how do I want this to look all right um, so that is the reflector app which is super powerful it will be found in your in your spotlight so when you're searching for something you're gonna go to your spotlight and the new MacBooks look a little bit different but you're gonna type in reflector it'll come up as reflector 2 there is a key that you need a key code that we will share we've purchased a school license you're gonna launch that first and then on the devices um, you're gonna swipe up the Chromebooks and the Android devices are a little bit different but students can figure that out you're gonna see air play right here um, and then you'll see the name of the computer and then you're turning on mirroring alright and that try it with your own device and I bet it's gonna be pretty cool um, remember that with technology we can remove the limitations of the traditional classroom and for sure without a doubt teach and learn in ways that were previously inconceivable so thanks for watching